Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is an amateur B-class MMA fight in the 62 kilogram weight class. Fighting out of the blue corner. This young mixed martial artist is making his in-cage debut. He represents Team Dynamite, ladies and gentlemen, Aston Coker! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He's making his in-cage debut. He represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Hassan Zaman! Our referee is Mr. Nico Joka. Here we go, amateur B-class bout, 62 kilogram. Hassan Zaman versus Aston Coker from Dynamite NMA. And again, yeah, Hassan Steinbein just gets taken off balance there. Very loose with his guard, just relaxed with his hands. Aston again, look, looking look nice and light on his feet. Oh, slip there, oh. caught him with the right hand. Just oh. Oh, caught him again. And again, Nico looking close there. Yeah, it's ended up again on the floor, but obviously he can't, can't strike to the head now. He can give him some chance to recover. He just slipped his head off the center line twice with that right hand over the top. Again, both of them registered. Team Dynamite uh, bringing some power <laughs> with their boxing skills. <laughs> Absolutely. Good body shot. I'm almost young. I'm almost tempted to be asking him to disengage. Yeah, yeah, you, you, did, know. you were doing well up there. Yeah, obviously, rocked him, caught him, dropped him. Look, trying to chase and the Again, arm. this guard position for me favors favors the person on yep. bottom. Oh. He's looking for the oh, arm. arm bar here. Oh, I think, he, oh, he's out. He's gonna use it to come on top. What a fantastic Back scramble. Back to the feet now. Let's they don't know when they should be beaten. Yeah. That's the brilliant part of this. Ooh, swings a little yeah, bit wildly. Just keep, keep their strikes a bit tighter on the feet. Again, so easy for me to be critical when I don't do it and this is their first time it's in there. So Slowing down a little bit. And at the I, moment, it looks like Hassan just, just coming into it a bit more now. Like he's, like he's regained a bit of composure since that, that start. Yeah, but you you got to think that... Well, Aston again, finished with a solid takedown yeah. there from that body lock. And you'd have to think that that round goes to blue corner. Yeah. More concussive damage, a little bit more control. If we could have 10 9.5s, maybe, but yeah. I still, still, that's that. I think that's a 10-9 round. Yeah, for I think obviously getting dropped, dropped in the in the rounds. Is, is a big, yeah. big scoring point, obviously. If that's the striking. The, the armbar attempt. Uh, yep. With a dangerous guard, but, you know, we definitely got to give that round to Aston. Again, it, it just amazes me. Both these young men might as well be waiting for their school bus. <laughs> yeah, coach, I'm fine. I've just had three minutes of a fight. We're going to have six more minutes of it. But yeah. eh, there are worse things I could be doing. Seconds are cleared. Round two. Give me more round one. Well, see if the pace starts as quickly. Simone, just got to be mindful of that. Crisp straight left it. Caught the, caught the leg, got the takedown, but again, he let him back up because that's what he must be thinking. Obviously, he had success on the feet, but I do feel like, you know, you got to go into the ground. Yeah, and you're going against such a rangy, and he, he's going to be able to fight. He's going to be able to look for submissions yeah. off, off his back. Look who he trains with. So I I like them, him keeping it up. This is where he, this is where he's landed the more telling shots yeah. in the fight, so let's keep it there for now. Oh, oh. lovely throw. I nice mean, sacrifice throw there. It wasn't quick, it was and sudden. He's looking for the armbar. Oh, he's gonna end up. Oh, he's gonna end up on, on bottom. bottom. Oh. You know, going for the submission attempt. It's maybe costing that position, but he's back to his feet. And but he went for the submission. Yeah. And like, amen. And he's ended up back on his feet. 
where maybe he won't, wants to be anyway, but I feel like Hassan's now just putting a bit more pressure on. He seems like he can uh, just keep moving forward, but reverse position from Aston, Aston there. Again, is he just going to try and muscle nice down? He trip. does. Half guard. And again, controlling from the top, but Zaman here can try and work to get back to that guard, then look for some submissions. Yeah, he's just, just settling down now. Yeah, I'm going to let you up, but if you step up too close, I'm going to mm -hmm. crack you. Body kick there, long jab. Yeah, and so then just leans, swing at him. leans out of range there. And again, what a competitive fight. Beautiful yeah, takedown to finish lovely. the round, and again. So, I mean, I feel like Hassan giving that forward pressure, but then he's ending up in the grapple with Hassan, who's getting the body lock, taking him down. Uh, he's going to have to make some adjustments going into this, this third round on his distance management. Well, yeah. It just seems that he's like a half a step behind, and that's it. He's got a bit of range, but he's been more successful in the clinch, and certainly he looked the more dangerous on the ball. He looked the more dangerous on the ground, but he hasn't had that top position with which he can really show it off. Yeah. So maybe the takedown needs to come from. Yeah, they, they again. He, he might mix it up now. Uh, both both guys getting instruction, but it's going into a third round, and I feel like uh, Aston's two rounds up. Yeah. Third and final round. Two minutes left to separate them. Big leg kick to the low kick to the lead. Leg there from Aston. Body kick caught. He, maybe he is going for that takedown to look for oh. top position. Got to be careful not to get wild, but... No, going for the body lock in that wrestle. Maybe he's going to look to wrestle and get the submission on top, or... Dis looking to disengage now. Yeah, Coke could push to the back. Takes the battle, underhook. Yeah, battle of underhooks and head position And here. then starts chipping away at the body. And I love the fact that he... He's always looking to land something. Right in front of us now. Again, controlling the controlling yeah, the range and where the fight's taking place. Got an underhook on the shoulder. He's looking to put that head in a good position, which he has done there. Making Hassan get up tall. Again, ah. Uh, he could joke asking for a little more action. He's a fussy referee sometimes. <laughs> you know, these kids are working hard, but... The takedown for Massa, looking for some body shots. And lets him back, back up, happy to let him back up. And again, I think he feels a little more comfortable here. Yeah, big finish needed from Hassan if he's going to turn this round. Trying to... Hand fighting. We and clinches in, pushes him back to the cage. Yeah, he's, he's done well from the clinch. Hasn't he, Aston? He's been able to Absolutely. win, and now win that battle. He got a few body lock takedowns in the second round, and again, he's he's managed to pin Hassan against the wall. Thought for a moment he was looking to kind of drop down under the hips, but the overhook stopping him from doing that. He's just happy pressuring in with that head pressure. And good Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Good fight. What a fight. What a fight. I, I think I'm starting to fall in love with Junior MMA. Yeah, it was, uh, it was another great fight, and we got 62 kilogram, and we're going to go down to almost half that next with a 34 kilogram bout. But another great fight from two up and comers make, making their debut. Bright futures ahead. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please, a massive round of applause for both these fighters. After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. For your winner, 
in the blue corner, Aston Coker! And ladies and gentlemen, please, a massive round of applause for a game and dangerous Hassan Zaman. <laughs>